Oh boy, this is Tom from anti-proton.com and look what just showed up in the mail. Check this out. If you can't read it, that's because it's in like Chinese, but that's a good thing. Because I've been waiting for days, weeks even, to get a hold of a tritium keychain. Yes, you heard me, a keychain uh, containing tritium. <laughs> There's a farting slip. And I've got everything prepared like usual. I've got this uh, big book of atomic science. I should just point out for just a second before I pull this out that uh, I do not actually use the big book of atomic science to figure out nuclear stuff. I use all of my physics textbooks, uh, my physics knowledge, and God only knows what else. But my God, I love this book. I got this book when I was a kid back living in Arizona with the Navajo Indians for a while. Yet, eh, have been, if you are a Navajo. Actually, not have been. It's not uh, morning time, it's evening time, so just yet eh. And if uh, you're not from Arizona, you don't know what a Navajo is, or you aren't a Navajo, you're not the Diné, then uh, ignore that. But regardless, uh, I got this straight up from the library at the school. Da 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 da. 19. 19 freaking 55. Oh my god, 1955. This is back in the days when, like, nothing was dangerous, and back in the days when people, like in this picture here, would, um, hell, I think this is probably public domain by now, would sit there and, like, you know, load stuff manually, and they would talk about stuff. What an awesome book. It has neat things in it, like, uh, finding uranium, making atomic fuel, the dawn of the atomic age, nuclear fission reactors, applying power for the future. Yeah, that's great stuff. Well, anyway, <clears throat> I thought I'd bring it out in celebration. Now I have my Geiger counter, as you can see we're at 10 counts per minute. 9 counts per minute. Well anyway, it fluctuates. As you all probably know by now, because I've told you about a thousand million times, um, my average is 14 counts per minute. This is actually below average. Keep in mind that's my average for the house. In some places it's lower, in some places it's higher. Anyway, I've already opened this to see that it's okay and everything. I don't like open it up and the tritium spills out on me and I start screaming and God only knows what happens and you all see it. So I have already tested everything to make sure it's all good before I even do this. Anyhow, um, I'm going to be getting another camera. You know, I've said that like 50 times. I better just freaking get the new camera instead of telling you, oh, I'm going to get a new camera. I'm getting a new camera. Oh, my God, I'm getting a new camera. I just paid all of my bills. So next paycheck, which comes up next week, I'm going to go to the little store. Actually, I can just buy it on my credit card, I guess, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. I'm trying to figure out what the best one is to get. A nice little inexpensive but decent quality video camera that can do the most amazing thing on earth, which is pause. You can't pause this. I have to stop the whole video. Then, like, I have to upload. This is my iPhone. Upload it to the computer and chop it all up, and, and oh my god, it's just terrible. I mean, I can do that. I'm a computer scientist, but my god, it's just pointlessly tiresome. The damn thing should be able to pause. Anyway, also, my new Geiger counter should be hopefully coming. I know I've said that 50 times, but... The, guy, the guys at GeigerCounters.com say I am up on the list. A new batch is showing up, and hopefully mine will be in it. Yes, if you're curious, everybody has been waiting forever for Geiger Counters. My God, it's 3 minutes, 28 minutes into the video. 3 minutes, 28 seconds, and I still haven't shown you anything. Let's see what's inside. Oh, look, it's a pink thing. Let's open that up. Oh, boy, look at the customs declaration. I, I know, I'm like stalling. It's terrible. Tech gadgets. They sent this all the way from China, and nobody mentioned on it that it contains tritium. Of course not. No, it's tech gadget. Okay. What a customs declaration. Well, that's not my fault. I didn't write it, so customs people can go jump. Not my fault. Of course, it's perfectly legal anyway. It's a tiny little itty bitty bit of a bit of it. I mean, look how tiny it is. You might break it or something. Here, let me see if I can hold it up to my crappy camera, where you might be able to get a good view of it. So here it is. And you're just thinking to yourself. Wow, amazing. Well, let's turn... Oh, that seems to have noticed. Why doesn't my camera autofocus? Because it's crap. Okay, this is putting off incredibly weak beta. I'm going to turn the light off in a minute so you can see. You know, I'll do it now. Let me cut the light off. Cutting. Hmm. Wow, that's great. Drop and potentially break... Here it is. Ironically, I found it because it glowed in the dark. That's kind of ironic. Let's cut the light off. Let's hold up the keychain. There it is.
Can you see it? Don't blank. Okay, let me put it up so it takes up the whole screen. That is the Tritium keychain. My god, my camera sucks. <clears throat> As you can see, it puts off a very, very weak amount of light. It's not that impressive. Yay, yay for incredibly crappy weak light. Anyway, the reason it's doing this is because it has like a phosphorus um, paint or something like that, some kind of a uh, uh, um, some kind of lumin uh, luminous paint. And so, well, it's not luminous paint. Excuse me, it's a uh, um, uh, fluorescing paint. And what's happening is the uh, tritium is producing a very weak beta emission. Approximately what is it? Eight eight and a half kilo electron volts, something like that. I think. I mean, we're talking about. Stupid tiny. I could probably swallow this thing. Well, maybe not that, but you get the point. It's not deadly at all. This might be one of the least deadly radioactive things I've ever bought in my life. It's safe. I mean, unless you eat it, I guess that would be bad. It's like a stick of it inside here. Let me turn the light back on. Because you now you probably want to see, see what the actual reading is. See? There it is. And if you get really, really closely, close and block off some of the light, you can kind of see... Okay, why can't my thing focus? Because it's a crappy camera, I'm getting into one. There, you can see it a little bit. Now, let's take my 8 to 9 counts per minute Geiger counter. Let's see if we can get something out of this. God, I can't wait till I get my better Geiger counter. Well... It's something. Not much. I'm not sure if that's just background or not. That's pretty sad, isn't it? Wait, no, no, no. We were at 8 to 10 inside of this room. 14 is my average. But we're 8 to 10 in this room. This is a pretty heavily shielded room. And look at that. It's going up a little. I mean, it's like not much. Because, I mean, this thing is so tiny. And, and it's the beta particles are so weak. I mean, in this case, they are. But look at that. It's doing a little. I mean, light salt's doing better, but... Oh, well. Whoa! Nelly, look at that. The randomness of radiation. Over time, it builds up a little bit. I must have gotten a good spot, too. There, I've been adjusting it a little bit. Maybe I've got, like, a better spot or something. 37. And they want me to put this in my pocket? Right by my, um... Uh, s skin? <clears throat> yes. Nah, that's quite alright. How about I don't but say that I did? You can get these things from, um, I got it from, uh, uh, um, what is it? I, I something or other, I trade, I something or other, whatever, slash Raytunes. I'll put the link in my, um, uh, page. You can look at it and buy one yourself. Warning, if you buy one, they take like a week or three to get to you because they come all the way from freaking China. But they're they're worth it if you want an incredibly low level source, and if you have something larger like a um, pancake Geiger Mueller tube, like the one I'm getting, this reading would be significantly higher, like probably 60 or even 80. We shall see when I get my pancake tube. So that's not much, but tritium. Tritium is combined with helium. Oh, helium. Tritium is combined with deuterium to produce helium four and a couple neutrons, or at least one. And that's how fusion works. Tritium is actually one of three standard types of hydrogen. Hydrogen 1 is called protium. That's the most abundant. Hydrogen 2 is called deuterium, and neither of those are radioactive. Hy hydrogen 3, however, is radioactive, and it's the third state of of uh, hydrogen. It's nearly a helium atom. In fact, this is becoming a helium atom. It's becoming helium-3 before my eyes. Well, anyway, this has been Tom from anti-proton.com, and um, enjoying my tritium. Bye-bye.